a university city is what happens when certain college towns grow up and get a diversified economy around them, usually over 250,000 people in the metropolitan area. So they have a large enough economy around a major public research university so that they can really uh, leverage all the benefits of being of the proximity to the university. In the mayor's office, we work with the university quite a bit on a range of, range of issues. So it seemed very natural for me to reach out to um, Dr. Stromberg, the chairman of the stats department, to confirm the statistical research, the analysis that, that we had done in the mayor's office. Our applied statistics lab does data analysis for hundreds of, of projects every year, mostly internal to the university, but, but there are some external ones as well. So when the city called with a question, we're going, oh, we better answer this question because we live in Lexington. So our job was to um, take the data that Scott provided and link them, link the cities together mathematically. We also spoke with um, Lynn Phillips in the geography department. She's done uh, some research and teaches a class on sort of city typologies, which is, you know, perfect for the kind of research that, that, that we were undertaking. That was really helpful. And I've spoken with a number of other um, professors and administrators about this idea as well, and the feedback's been great. We didn't choose the variables that, that were used to, to do the groupings. We didn't choose the cities. We took the data and statistically analyzed it and came to the conclusion that the university cities were a group of some sort. So our analysis shows there are six true university cities. So these are cities that are between 250,000 and a million people, have a major public research university in the urban core, and have more than 10% of their population um, students. So there are six cities. There's Lexington, of course, uh, Lincoln, Nebraska, uh, Ann Arbor, Madison, Fort Collins, and Durham Chapel Hill. So one of the big takeaways uh, with this research is that university cities have all the benefits you get from being in a large coastal city. So tons of art, arts and culture, lots of highly degreed people, entrepreneurship rates that are at the level of the, the largest cities in the country. So lots of ideas and businesses being created, but um, they differ from the large cities in that they have very low violent crime rates they have very uh, low cost as well. Um, so that makes it sort of a fantastically interesting city to live in. I think UK and Lexington know that their fates are intertwined. Um, and here with this research, what it really shows is that uh, each benefits from the other. So the university benefits from um, being able to attract people to a vibrant city where there's lots of economic opportunity in high wage um, uh, industries. And of course, the, the city benefits from having this massive public research university in the, the center of the city and all the vibrancy uh, it, uh, it brings, as well as the, uh, the demand that the people who go to the university, who work at the university, the people they know in the community, the demand that that drives for arts and culture here in the city, which everyone benefits from.